Hi guys. Um, okay, so for Tuesday, um, we have two videos here, um, each of them going over um, two different Pythagorean theorem word problems. Um, one with a boat and a sail, um, and then another one, uh, I think it was with a carpet, and then you had to find the diagonal of the carpet. Um, so you watch those two videos. Um, they're three and four minutes long, and they give you an example um, for each. Okay, and then what we want you today for your assignment and for what for I'm for what I'm looking at um, is um, under Google Classroom. So you can click the link. Um, you can click classwork at the top, or it's also written right here under assignment. Um, so if I click this posted assignment. Well, that's for me. I don't, I lied. You don't want to click that one. Yeah. So well, let me go back to the stream. Okay. It's easiest. Just click the link here um, and it will pull up. Um, the page here. Okay, recording a background tab. I'll record this tab. Okay, um, and then when we have that, um, we can then click the assignment. Well, um, so let me just go back a second. So what you want to do is you want to either print this out and answer the questions on this uh, paper and then take a picture of it or scan it in um, and turn it in. Or um, you can just write your answers on a separate sheet of paper, take a picture of it or scan it um, and turn it in that way. Um, so I'm going to go through some of these problems. Okay. So we want to zoom in a little so we can see. Um, too much. Rescale this a little. Okay. So um, number one here says we want to find the length of the hypotenuse of a right triangle if one leg is 15 and the other leg is 8. So the best thing to do is to draw a diagram. So we have a right triangle. So I'm going to draw a right triangle. Okay. So we have a right angle here. Um, it tells us um, we want to find the length of the hypotenuse. So again, the hypotenuse is the side across from the right angle. Um, and then it tells us the legs are 15 and 8. So the legs are the ones that are adjacent to the right angle, the one, meaning next to. Okay, so one of these sides, we don't know which one is 15. And the other one is 8. You could have switched them. Uh, it doesn't matter. Uh, we don't know which one is which, but, but it's not going to affect us. Okay, and then from there we want to find um, the length of hypotenuse. So we're going to have to use the Pythagorean theorem. If you have two sides of a right triangle and you're looking for a third, use the Pythagorean theorem. So we have a squared plus b squared is going to equal c squared. Okay, a and b are your two legs, so that's 15 and 8. So we're going to do 15 squared plus 8 squared equals c squared. Okay, 15 squared is 225. 8 squared is 64. Um, and that equals c squared. Okay, 25 plus 64, that's going to give us uh, 289. Okay, we want to get rid of the square, so we take the square root of both sides because that's the inverse operation. Uh, square root of 289 is going to be 13. I mean, sorry, 17. Plus or minus 17, but we want positive 17 because we're talking about distance. Okay, so we know that C, the hypotenuse there, is going to be 17. 8 squared plus 15 squared equals 17 squared. Okay. Um, okay, for number two, um, they tell you you have two different problems, A and then B. Um, the legs of a right triangle have lengths A and B, uh, and the hypotenuse has the length C. Find the lengths of the unknown. 
So in the first one, they give you B and C. So they give you one leg in the hypotenuse and you need to find the other leg. Okay, and we, we can go through that one. We'll do one of them. We're not going to do both. Um, so you're going to draw a right triangle. Okay, uh, A and B are the legs. So we can call this A. This one's going to be B. We know B is 18, so we can put 18 here. And then C is always your hypotenuse, right? Um, and so we're going to call this 82. Okay, you can then do A squared plus 18 squared equals 82 squared. Okay, and then you can solve for A squared. You square them both, you subtract. Uh, and then take the square root. Okay, and that'll give you your answer for A. For B, you gotta do the same thing. So again, you're gonna wanna draw another right triangle. Uh, we know the hypotenuse is 37, the C, and then A is 12, and then we're looking for B, the other leg. And then you do the Pythagorean theorem again there to solve. Okay, um, three, this, um, it asks you, um, measures of three sides of a triangle are 9, 16, and 20. Determine whether the triangle is a right triangle. So you need to see if a squared plus b squared is going to equal c squared. Okay. Um, the hypotenuse is the longest side. So you should be able to know that c is 20. Um, and then you need to check the Pythagorean theorem to see if those are equal. Is 9 squared plus 16 squared equal to 20 squared? If it is, then it's a right triangle. If it's not, then it's not a right triangle. Okay. And then give a little explanation for your answer. Number four is very similar to the carpet example. Um, so you have a video going over that one. Um, it's pretty much the same as that one. Okay. Number five is the other one I want to do together. So the first thing you should do is draw it. So it says if the diagonal of a rectangle measures 60 inches and one side measures 48 inches, um, what is the length of the other side of the rectangle? So if you have a rectangle, Okay. Um, the diagonal here is going to be 48. Oh, I'm sorry, the diagonal is 60. Okay. The diagonal of rectangle measures 60. One side measures 48. Okay, and then what is the other? That's going to be x. Okay, and we know that this is a right angle because it's a rectangle. These are all right angles. So then you have a right triangle. Okay, the legs are going to be x and 48, and your hypotenuse would be 60. You can use the Pythagorean theorem then to set up the equation and solve for our missing side length. Okay, 6. Um, Again, you got to draw it out. So a ship radio uh, to shore for help. Uh, the Coast Guard determines that the distance the ship is 16 miles east. So 16 miles east of the station. So here's the station. Right? You're 16 miles east and then you're 43 miles north. Okay, and then you have a right triangle, and you want to find what is the direct distance between the ship and the Coast Guard. So here's the ship. It's 16 miles east of the station and 43 miles north. And then we want to know the direct distance. That would be x, your hypotenuse. You can then use the Pythagorean theorem to find that. Okay, 7, self-explanatory. And then 8, um... Tara leaned the ladder against the house, uh, and you're simply finding the height where the top of the ladder um, meets the house. So how high up the side of the wall, um, up the side of the house is the ladder. Okay, um, if you have any questions or concerns beyond that, um, I didn't want to do all the problems for you, obviously, um, but I just wanted to run through them in case you needed a little bit of help, a little bit of assistance um, in getting started. But please contact me. Um, if you need further help, we can, uh, I can make another screencast going over specific problems, or we can do a Google Hangout, or I can just answer your questions best I can over email.
Um, again, we want to um, make sure your name's on this, um, take a picture of it, turn it in. 